All right, today I am going to be driving all the way around New Hampshire to show you guys the best eight hikes in this state that are all under one mile. These are gonna be really fun, scenic, family friendly, and I'm excited to explore some new places. I made it to the first stop of the day. I'm in the parking lot and I'm gonna go and hike Pitcher Mountain. This is a loop trail, so I'm actually gonna go up that way and then come down that trail right there. You can see it on this map, 0.4 miles to the top and then 0.2 miles back down. I'm pretty happy I decided to do this video on such a clear day because it's absolutely gorgeous out. As you can see, the top of Pitcher Mountain has views all the way around. You can see so much. And I felt kind of lucky because I was able to go into the top of the fire tower. There was someone up there working, so I got to chat with him and see kind of how things worked and what's going on in the area and the fire situation. So that was really nice. One thing I love about Pitcher Mountain is that there's a lot of blueberries in the summer. So they're not ready right now, it's the middle of May, but if you come in like July, August, that's definitely something to look forward to. Right now I'm walking back down into the parking lot and I will see you on hike number two. All right, right now I'm at the Chesterfield Gorge State Wayside Trail. I think it's about a 0.7 mile loop around a gorge. I've never been here before, so I'm excited to check that out. Here's a little map of the trail. So I'm like halfway done with doing this trail around the gorge and it's really cool so far. I'm just walking alongside the gorge. There's railing so it's not like it's too dangerous and there's bridges that go across the gorge for kind of a cool view of the water. I feel like this place is really like family friendly. I think kids would really like this and it's really neat. It's like super shaded. There's a lot of trees around and tons of places to sit and relax and kind of take it all in. This is a very relaxing hike. A little bit of elevation, but it's really not that bad. And I'm sure the flow of this gorge changes dramatically depending on when you come. So I wonder what it's like now. I wonder if this is low or high or, I don't know. It'd be cool to see it in the different seasons. This place would make a great place to hang out on a nice day. There's picnic tables if you want to come and pack a lunch. There's a lot of places to sit and hang out. And if it's nice, you could probably like get in the water a little bit, get your feet wet. But that's going to be it for southern New Hampshire because right now I'm going to head to the Whites for the rest of the hikes. So it's about two and a half hours later. That was a long drive up here. Stopped at Dunks and I was on the King of Mangas for a while. That was really pretty. Um, I'm at the third hike of the day, which is actually another gorge. I'm at the Rocky Gorge, and I'm also going to see Falls Pond on this one mile loop hike. It's probably because it's like in the 80s right now, but my first thought was, wow, this would be a great place to swim but there are signs everywhere that says no swimming, so it's probably not as safe as it looks.
from the parking lot, the trail to the bridge that goes over the gorge is only a couple minutes and it's completely flat and paved. So this is a good like accessible trail for people to do. It's definitely wheelchair friendly and easy. The walk to the bridge in the gorge is pretty short, but I'm gonna continue the loop up a little bit into the woods where I could see Falls Pond. I'm doing the love quest loop right now, which is just looping around the pond. So the pond's right over there through the trees. It's a really nice trail. I've never heard of this one before, but I'm glad I'm doing it today. For this hike, I am at Echo Lake doing the one mile trail that goes around the lake. Um, you could swim in it, there's a beach, you can kayak, canoe, and do all sorts of fun things here. There's grills, picnic tables, this is a really cool like hangout spot if you want to set up for the day. That I believe is Cathedral Ledge, so that's the view you're going to get if you're hanging out here. So you can see the trail is pretty nice and flat and even, and then off to the side that would be the view of the lake. And you can see across that's where the beach is. There's been more people here at Echo Lake than there has been on any other hike, but I think most of those people were just there to go to the beach, to go in the sand. They were playing frisbee in the water, making sandcastles. It's a good family day, but I didn't see anyone on the actual trail that went around the lake. So that was kind of cool. And now I'm gonna go to the next one. Here I am at the Glen Ellis Falls. From the parking lot to the waterfall is only about 0.3 miles. So right behind me, you can see kind of like the river going down. I'll go down and show you the waterfall. It is only 0.3 miles to the waterfall, but there still are a lot of steps to get down to it. So keep that in mind. Oh my, that waterfall is roaring. It was so like windy and misty down there that I didn't stay long because there's water getting all over my camera and everything. So I'm staying in Pinkham Notch for this hike. I am climbing up to Square Ledge. Starting out on this hike, I was actually on the Appalachian Trail for like 0.1 miles. <laughs> So that was pretty fun. I think this hike is gonna be the most elevation, longest hike on the list. So I'm actually like climbing up a mountain right now. This is a hike I've never done before. So I heard that you can get a good view of like the Presidential Mountains and Pinkham Notch. So I'm excited to see that view. I heard the last little part of this was a scramble. And yep, I agree with that. I just want to capture that I am actually out of breath <laughs> hiking up that. That was steep. I don't know what the next hikes are, but this one on the list is definitely going to be the most strenuous. But look how high up I am. Look at the view.
it is windy up here, but the breeze feels really nice. There you can see Mount Washington. You can see that parking lot down there, Pinkham Notch, when I drove through, was actually full of a lot of skiers. So they're trying to find that snow up on Tuckerman's Ravine, and it looks like it's an awesome day for that. This is for sure my favorite of the day. I'm just up here feeling so thankful that, like, this is my job. <laughs> like, I get to come out here and hike and make videos and just drive around New Hampshire and just do what I love to do. Um, but, yeah, I'm gonna hike back down. I lost track. I forget what hike this is, but it is 4.30 right now, so I can't waste all day up here. Wildlife. I'm at the Thorn Pond Trail, which is gonna be a one mile loop around a pond. Haven't been here before, excited to check it out. It's pretty cool on the other side being able to see the ski mountain. It's like Atatash and I think Bear Peak. Still a little bit of snow up there. I don't know. So far there's nothing really outstanding or memorable about this hike besides the pond and the view of the ski mountain. But there is a guy playing fetch with his dog in the water so this would be a nice place if you're local to get your dog to swim. Um, other than that, I don't think you should, like, go out of your way to hit up this place. Just my honest opinion. But I'm enjoying my little loop. I mean, I'm seven hikes into the day, so maybe that plays into this a little bit. That was actually a little shorter than one mile. Now it's time to do the last hike. The last hike of the day took me to Crawford Notch. I started hiking up the Webster Jackson Trail and then turned off to the Elephant Head Spur. This hike is 0.7 miles round trip and the view at the top is of Crawford Notch. So here I am. This is Crawford Notch, seen from Elephant Head. And this is a good way to end my day. This is a really nice outlook. It's similar to the outlook that I saw at Pinkham Notch when I hiked Square Ledge, but this hike is much, much easier. The view is not as great as it was from Square Ledge, but this is still pretty cool. Crawford Notch is a pretty epic place. I remember coming here during peak foliage and being the only person on this summit when the road was completely lined with cars. So I don't know if people are just busy hiking the 4,000 footers in this area, but this is a good choice. I like this place. I wish I remembered my tripod hiking up here, but I didn't. So I'm gonna take it in for a couple more minutes and then head back down. I can't believe I got all eight in one day. I had, had my doubts, I had a late start, but these hikes were quick. I hope you enjoyed seeing these eight hikes in New Hampshire all under one mile. These are some of my favorite videos to make. But if you're looking for more of a challenge, I also have a video where I go over eight hikes in New Hampshire under three miles. So you can check that one out. I want to credit onlyinyourstate.com because that's where I found the article that listed these eight hikes. That was the inspiration to make this video, so I will link that article in the description. Also in the description, I am going to put a link for my New Hampshire Hikeopoly board game because that's 10% off this week, so check that out if you're interested. And finally, I'm hoping to reach 30,000 subscribers soon, so if you're not subscribed yet and can help me reach that goal, I would very much appreciate that. With all that said, I just want to thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. 
I have a couple stats if you're interested. This day was $55 worth of gas, seven and a half hours of driving, 6.3 miles of hiking, and 100% worth it.